Nissan GTR high speed fuel enrichment, providing a target air fuel ratio at high speed to protect the engine. Access to all the thresholds like vehicle speed, engine load and timer delays as needed. This provides a target air fuel ratio during high speed based against vehicle speed, engine load and a timer delay. So I can't actually show you the maps that are in there at this particular moment but what we do have is a log file showing the uh, high speed fuel enrichment feature working. We're in the middle of adding the um, high speed enrichment factor for all the different regions and I don't quite have the right version to show you but we've certainly done all the testing and you can see here the feature in action. So what we have here is um, the green line is the AFR. Um, the cyan is your target which is the output of your fuel map and the purple line here is vehicle speed um, divided by 10 for scaling reasons uh, to see on the map so you can see we were going along we got to 4600 rpm in 6th gear in. Yep. in 5th gear here 4500 rpm 158 mile an hour and you can see the AFR slowly ramps down to 10.5 AFR. So we can change the AFR value so that when the feature enables um, we can keep it up at 11, 11.5. We can also change the time period that has to expire before the feature comes in. We also have to the engine load threshold so that you can um, get the feature in work, excuse me, working earlier if you wish and we also have the vehicle speed that's allowed to work. So you can set the uh, vehicle speed load to stop the feature happening. Um, we also have the, um, the 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 what's the correct word to use? The ramp rate where we ramp in and out of the feature. So you can see here if we set this against time, it's quite a gentle, it's quite a gentle feature happening really over about a second here. Um, the standard car tends to ramp in over around three seconds, the, the time period is around three seconds and it ramps in again over around three seconds. But we can make it come in more aggressive, so you can have it come in more quickly. You can take longer to bring it in. The Gen 2 cars, actually the late Gen 2 cars, uh, the time period is set to around 30 seconds. So it's more the Gen 1 cars that are using the feature over 150 mile an hour to keep the car cool. So. Uh, this will be in the software very soon.